On behalf of President Biden, I'm announcing an emergency package of security assistance of $300 million worth of weapons and equipment to address some of Ukraine's pressing needs. The White House on Tuesday said the U.S. would deliver a new military aid package for Ukraine, the first such move in months, as additional funds for the country remain blocked by Republicans in Congress. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said the new funding would come from unanticipated cost savings from Pentagon contracts. Those contracts came in under budget, so we have a modest amount of funding available. This emergency package that we're announcing contains a large tranche of artillery rounds and Gimlers for the HIMARS. It is assistance that Ukraine desperately needs to hold the line against Russian attacks and uh, to push back against the continuing Russian onslaught in the east and in other parts of Ukraine. The White House has been scrambling to find ways to send more military assistance given the situation on the battlefield and resistance to the funding from Republican hardliners. This ammunition will keep Ukraine's guns firing for a period, but only a short period. The $300 million in new assistance is only a fraction of the $60 billion in security aid for Ukraine that was passed last month by the Senate, but has been stalled in the House of Representatives by Republican Speaker Mike Johnson. The House Speaker, an ally of former President Donald Trump, has so far refused to call a vote on the bill. Our friends in Ukraine are running out of ammo. The Senate's Republican leader, Mitch McConnell, on Tuesday urged Johnson to hold a vote on the assistance package, which would also provide aid to Israel and Taiwan. I want to encourage the Speaker again to allow a vote, a vote. Let the House speak on the supplemental that we sent over to them several weeks ago. Tuesday's announcement comes as Poland's president and prime minister met with President Joe Biden at the White House to talk about other ways to bolster support for Ukraine as his administration waits for the supplemental funding to be passed in the House.